Antonio Gibson, running back 31 last year, 149 rush attempts, 546 yards, three touchdowns, 46 receptions, 58 targets, 353 through the air, and two tutties. Thoughts on Antonio Gibson? I, I like Gibson. So Ron Rivera has come out and said very positive things about Antonio Gibson, which typically Ron Rivera doesn't say anything if he has a mouthful. So I do take notice in that because he doesn't typically hype up players necessarily, but I think that they're finally figuring out how to use him. That He wasn't a true running back coming out of college. He's just a really good athlete, and they're finding ways to get him the ball. So he will be their pass-catching specialist coming out of the backfield, which, you know, depending on the offense, right, Eric Bieniemy coming from that Chiefs offense and what they've done the last couple of years, it's get it out quick, right? Get it out quick. Get your players in space. That is Antonio Gibson's game. Okay. So – Given a choice between the two, I, I I'll probably lean Gibson, especially in a PPR league, and take my chances. Although I do think that they end up about the same ranking, right? I, I do think they end up the same place. I just think it's easier for Gibson to get there in PPR leagues because of those receptions. He may not see as many carries on the ground, but, um, you know, who knows with Sam Howell, right? He looked good in that game against Dallas, we're talking, we'll talk about him here momentarily, but uh, I think that there's uh, at least some form of slight optimism going on in Washington and what they might have there. Cause Sam Howell is a gamer um, and that speaks well to the pass catchers in the commander's offense. And Gibson was on the field for 480, about 41%. And Brian Robinson was on the field for 29%. Now keep in mind, 29 and a half percent. Keep in mind, Robinson missed time, right? wasn't there for the first half of the season, first part of the season. Um, and so that, that does play a little bit into it. Um, I think that the, that number, that gap closes, right? I think that that gap is going to be closer, you know, to a 40 to 40%, right? Like I think both of, one of those guys is going to be on the field and if one's not, the other one will be. Um, so, I agree with you, Kevin. I think the 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 work that that Gibson gets through the air, uh, albeit not a ton, it is enough that it does, you know, help elevate him from what he's going to do rushing wise. So, yeah, I, I do think that that Gibson in the PPR league, Gibson's the better option in terms of of Washington running backs. And so here's the other thing too that that gives Gibson the edge for me on this one. We talked about the pass catching work. He doesn't have to compete for touchdown or for doesn't have to compete for work with a guy named JD McKissick, who was there for the early part of the season last year, mm -hmm. ended up getting dinged up, missed some time. But keep in mind, coming into last year, JD McKissick was a guy that had signed with Buffalo and I believe he was a restricted free agent. Washington matched that contract. But keep in mind on Antonio Gibson's uh first year in the league. This was a guy that got 10, 12 touchdowns. Like he, he is a guy that can move the pile, move the tackles hard to bring down and, and can, can flat out has a nose for the end zone. So um, I, I like the upside of, of Antonio Gibson far more than what Brian Robinson brings to the table. And that's a guy that uh, again, I can consistently get much later in the drafts. And that's the guy that I'm going to go with. Uh, it almost kind of, you it's a little bit different situation, but it kind of reminds me looking at these two. I get the similar kind of feeling that when we looked at uh, Damien Harris and Ramadre Stevenson last year, right? Like you can get the guy that's probably going to outperform the other guy in total points for fantasy in a couple of rounds later. And that's, that's the same thing that I'm looking at here. And so Antonio Gibson is the smash. Yes. Between these two for me. Yeah. 